non conservation of mechanical energy. The total mechanical energy will not be conserved in the following cases. Case 1 when there is work done against friction. On a rough surface, the work done against friction is equal to Fd, where F is the frictional force. D is the distance traveled by the body. Example 8. A car of mass 2,000 kg travel in a straight line on a horizontal row with velocity 30 meter per second. When the brake is applied, the speed drops to 10 meter per second after traveling a distance of 20 meter. Part A find the loss of kinetic energy. The loss of kinetic energy is equal to half m u square minus half m v square, which is half times 2000 times square of 30 minus square of 10, which is equal to 8 times 10 to the power 5 joules. Part B, the average breaking force. Let the average breaking force be F. We have Ke lost is equal to work done against friction. Therefore, 8 times 10 to the power 5 equal to Fd equal to F times 20 meters. Therefore, the frictional force or the breaking force is equal to 4 times 10 to the power 4 Newton. Example 9. When a block of mass 1 kg is released at A, it lies down an in-kind plane. Given that its B at B is 2 meter per second and AB equal to 0 0.4 meter, the height of AB is 0 0.5 meters. Find from A to B. The loss in potential energy equal to mgh equal to 1 times 9.81 times 0 0.5 which is equal to 4.91 joules part b the gain in ke ke gain equal to half m V B square minus half M V A square, which is half times one times V B square minus V A square, which is equal to half times one times square of two minus zero, which is equal to two joules. See. Find the work done against friction. The work done against friction equal to the PE loss minus the KE gain, which is equal to 4.91 minus 2 equal to 2.91 joules. Part D, find the average frictional force. Since work done against friction equal to F D and D is equal to 0 0.4 meters. Therefore we have F times 0 
equal to 2.91 therefore the average frictional force equal to 7.28 newton example 10 in a roller coaster a total weight of mass 1000 kg is released at p it runs down a rough track and completes the circular loop of radius 30 meters. The speed of the trolley at the lowest point A and at the highest point B of the circular loop are 40 meters per second and 20 meter per second respectively. For the motion of the trolley from A to B. Part A the KE loss equal to KE at A minus KE at B, which is half M V A square minus V B square by substituting the values of M, V A and V B we have the K E lost equal to six times ten to the power five joules. Part B the gain in P E the gain in P E equal to M G H where H equal to 60 meters. Therefore, the gain in PE is 1000 times 9.81 times 60, which is equal to 5.89 times 10 to the power 5 joules. Part C, the work done against frictions is equal to Loss in KE minus gain in PE, which is equal to 1.1 times 10 to the power 4 joules. Part D, find the average frictional force on the trolley. Work done against friction equal to frictional force times distance travel. Since distance travels from A to B is equal to pi r which is equal to pi times 30 therefore the average frictional force equal to 117 newton case 2 Work done against air resistance equal to FD, where F is air resistance force, D is the distance traveled. Example 11 Apparatus force vertically downward given that the speed of him at P and at Q are 5 meter per second and 10 meter per second respectively and PQ equal to 8 meter by the average air resistance between PQ. From P to Q, the loose in potential energy equal to MGH equal to M times 9.81 times 8 
which is equal to 78.5 M. The gain in KE equal to KE at Q minus KE at P, which is half M times VQ square minus VP square equal to half M square of 10 minus square of 5, which is equal to 37.5 M. The work done against friction equal to lose in PE minus gain in KE, which is 78.5 M minus 37.5 M, which is equal to 51 M. Since work done against air resistance equal to air resistance times D, where D is equal to 8 meters. Therefore, we have average air resistance equal to 51 M over 8. Case 3. Work done against water resistance equal to FD, where F is water resistance force. And D is the distance travels in water. Example 12. A diver of mass 50 kg is 10 meters above the water when he stands at P. After falling from west at P, he enters the water at Q and then which the lowest point R which is 4 meters below Q. We get the air resistance, part A. Describe the energy change of the diver from P to R. From P to R, the gravitational potential energy of the man changed to work done against water resistance. During the motion from P to R, there is low change in kinetic energy because the Ke at P is zero. Also, the Ke at R is also equal to zero. Part B. What is the average water resistance? Since PE lost by the man changed to work done against friction, we have the PE lost equal to MGH work done against water resistance equal to FD. From the diagram, H equal to 10 plus 4, which is 14 meters. And D is the distance traveled in water, which is 4 meters. Therefore, we have 50 times 9.81 times 14 equal to frictional force times 4. Therefore, the average water resistance F equal to 1.78 times 10 to the power 3 Newton. For part C, if the diver jumps upwards from P, that means the kinetic energy at P will be larger than zero. In this case, 
from P to R, there is kinetic energy lost. Therefore, the total loss in PE and KE is larger than before. Hence, he will reach a deeper position below the water surface because D will be greater. Power. What is power? Power is defined as the weight of energy transferred. Or we say P equal to energy transfer over time. Because work done equal to energy transferred, therefore power can also written in P equal to work done over time. Example 13. A man of mass 75 kg runs upstairs from A to B with a height AB equal to 10 meters in a time of 20 seconds. Part A Describe the energy change from A to B. From A to B, the chemical energy of the man change to gravitational potential energy. Part B, find the average power. The average power is equal to energy transfer over time which is equal to transfer of gravitational potential energy over time which is mgh over time equal to 75 times 9.81 times 10 over 20 therefore the average power P equal to 368 watt. Example 14. In a weight lifting competition, a man of mass 70 kg lifts up a dumbbell of mass 100 kg by 1.8 meter in a time of 2 seconds. Find the gain in potential energy of the dumbbell. The gain in potential energy of the dumbbell equal to mgh equal to 100 times 9.81 times 1.8 which is equal to 1,770 joules. The average power of the man, P, equal to energy transfer over time, equal to PE gained by the dumbbell over time, equal to 1,770 over 2, Therefore, the average power of the man, P, equal to 885 Watt. Part C, the actual average power of the man is in fact greater than that found in B. Explain briefly. During the lifting competitions, the potential energy of the man also increases. Therefore, the total PE gained 
by the dumbbell and the man is larger than the PE gain by the dumbbell only. Therefore, the power should be larger than 885 Watt. Example 15. A racing car of mass 1,500 kg accelerates from a speed 10 m per second to 40 m per second in time 5 seconds. Find the change in Ke of the car. The change in Ke of the car equal to half m v square minus u square equal to half times 1500 times square of 40 minus square of 10 equal to 1.13 times 10 to the power 6 joules. The average power developed by the engine of a car P equal to change in Ke over time which is equal to 1.13 times 10 to the power 6 over 5 which is equal to 2.26 times 10 to the power 5 watt. What is the power of a body when it moves with uniform velocity V? If V is constant, we have power equal to work done over time equal to F S over time equal to F times S over T since V is constant then we have F times V therefore the power of a body traveling at uniform velocity V is F V Example 16, a car is traveling at a uniform velocity of 100 km per hour on a horizontal row. If air resistance is 200 newtons and the friction on the car is 800 newtons, find the driving force developed by the engine. By Newton's second law, the left force equal to ma. Let the driving force developed by the engine be f. We have left force equal to f minus air resistance minus the frictional force on the car by the row equal to ma. Since is traveling with uniform velocity, therefore A is zero. Therefore, the driving force equal to the sum of air resistance and the row friction, which is equal to 200 plus 800, equal to 1000 Newton. Part B, what is the output power of the engine of the car since power equal to FV we have power of the engine of the car equal to 1000 times the speed 100 we have to change the speed from km per hour to meter per second Therefore, the speed is 100 times 1 over 3.6 meter per second. Therefore, the output power of the engine of the car is equal to 2.78 times 10 to the power 4 watt. Example 17. A helicopter of weight 2,500 kilograms is moving vertically upward at uniform velocity of 15 meter per second. 
if air resistance is 2000 newton find the uplifting force supplied by the helicopter there are three forces acting on the helicopter the downward air resistance the downward weight and the uplifting force F pi since it's moving with uniform velocity therefore the acceleration is zero therefore uplifting force equal to air resistance plus the weight equal to 2000 plus 2500 times 9.81 equal to 2.65 times 10 to the power 4 newton part b the average power of the helicopter equal to f pi times v equal to 2.65 times 10 to the power 4 times 15 which is equal to 3.98 watt Example 18 A man raises a pack of rice of mass 5 kg for a height of 1 meter at a constant speed of 50 cm per second find the power of the man the force applied on the rise by the man is equal to the weight of the rise therefore F equal to W equal to mg equal to 5 times 9.81 equal to 49.1 newton the average power of the man equal to fv equal to 49.1 times 0 0.5 meter per second therefore the average power equal to 25.0 watt